Putting an ethernet card in an older receipt printer is a pretty simple process. Uh, so let's take a look. This is what the card itself looks like. And you can see uh, it kind of has a little board here. And this is the input for the ethernet cable. On the printer, typically with these models that don't have ethernet, you'll see a few different cables on the back. So let's take a look at that. Uh, here we have the USB cable and eventually we're going to unplug that so we'll go ahead and do that now uh, this is a usb cable probably connected to your computer you may have a serial port or something other older legacy device uh, this is the power cable so we're going to go ahead and unplug that before we do anything else and this here is the drawer kick cable now that's attached to your cash drawer and enables the printer to send the signal to open the cash drawer so we'll undo that as well and it, it's a uh, basically a phone cable. Uh, it's called an RJ11. So once you remove all the cabling, this is what the back of the printer looks like. And we've got the uh, this card here is what we're going to take out. So there are screws on either side here and here. We're going to take those screws out and then put the other card in. So once the screws are out, you'll simply grab the card just like this and just pull it out. It's it'll slide right out. Uh, and the way that the card attaches, and we'll look at it on this new one, is this piece right here plugs into a uh, receiving port. You can see in there, uh, and it sort of latches in. You'll feel it when you slide the card in. So we want to take the new card. It may not look exactly like this, but it's going to have an Ethernet uh, spot on the back of it. And it goes uh, with this, the board side sort of up. So if you look in here, you can see how it will slide in. So we're going to slide that in and then we're just going to screw the screws back in to hold it in place. And there when you put it in you can feel it sort of lock into place and then we're simply going to take the screws we took out of the other card and put those back in. Once those screws are in place and the card is secure we're going to plug our cables back in. The first cable we're going to plug in is actually an ethernet cable that will go right here that will connect your printer to your network. Now your ethernet cable looks similar to a phone cable except it's just a little bit bigger uh, about a quarter inch or so and it will plug into this spot here. So you'll want to have a cable, uh, Ethernet cable, you'll plug it in here into the printer and the other end you want to run to a nearby switch so that you can connect your printer to your network. The other things you need to plug back in are the power cable, again it goes right here. And the last cable will be the drawer kick cable and it goes in the drawer kick spot right up here and you can actually see on uh, the printer itself it says right here DK for drawer kick. Now your printer may be an H6000, it may not look exactly like this but it will be very similar. Now what you want to do once you get all the cables plugged back in is print a configuration sheet so that when you call us and we get ready to hook the printer up to your computer or to the server, we know what the IP address is and we're ready to get started. So the way you can print a configuration sheet on one of these printers, uh, whether it be a, an H6000 or a TM88, is you press and hold the feed button, which is right here. And while holding the feed button, continue to hold it, power the printer on with this button right here and it will spit out a piece of paper. That piece of paper will have network information on it. Specifically, what we are interested in is the IP address of the printer. In this case, it's 192.168.1.196. That information will be used to set up the print driver on the server so that you can print to it from Transact. Now, once you've printed that configuration sheet, you will notice that this light is blinking. Uh, what that means is you need to press the feed button one more time for the printer to be in a ready state. So you press it like that, it cuts off this little piece, and then your printer is ready to use.